Dear children, today just we are going to study about the human heart. Already we started the circulatory system. You learned that what is meant by double circulation heart. Now the external features of the human heart. I will tell you. Heart is a muscular organ. Heart is a muscular organ. Actually, this is the size is one fist size. One fist size means here. Yeah, if you keep your fist like this, this is your fist. One fist. Whomever you are having, your fist size is the heart size, and it is slightly, slightly towards the left. Slightly towards the left, and between the and between the two lungs, lungs. This is the location. And normally the weight will be approximately 300 grams. Length is 12 centimeters, and the width is 9 centimeters. These are the approximate measurements given. Okay. Now it is conical. Conical down and broader up. These are roughly the external features of the human heart. See here, heart is a muscular organ. Heart muscles are known as cardiac muscles. Heart muscles are known as cardiac muscles. Follow. And it is one's own fist size. And slightly twisted toward the left and located between the two lungs. And its weight is approximately 300 gram. Length is 12 centimeters. This is the length. Length is 12 centimeters and the width is 9 centimeters. Now conical down and broader up. That means you see here, this is the conical down and broader up. If you see children like this, this is the left side and this is the right side normally. And the heart is slightly twisted toward, two third, twisted toward the, normally it is not located left side, slightly twisted toward the left side and located between the two lungs, left and right. <coughs> Coming to the internal structure, if you see human heart is well developed, human heart is well developed, four chambered heart. Four chambered heart. Well, because we know that humans are warm-blooded organisms and they need more and more energy to keep their body temperature throughout their life. Here the well done <coughs> four chamber, they do not allow. Here you see, this is the left side and this is the right side. And upper two are called atria or atrium. And lower two are called ventricles. Roughly, if you see that one, this is the left atrium left ventricle, right atrium, atrium is the singular, atria is the plural, here right ventricle. Now you see here, this heart, right and left chain separated by a muscular septum, a muscular septum separate left and right parts of the heart and it does not allow, it does not allow the Pure and impure blood to mix. Pure and impure blood to impure blood to mix because see here in the lower organisms like fishes, amphibians, the mixed blood is distributed. That means what? Oxygenated, deoxygenated. Left side, left side is totally contains oxygenated. Right side is totally contains deoxygenated. These two type of bloods are not allowed to mix in the human heart because of this muscular septum. We need the energy levels high when compared with the lower organism. See here the four choppers are given here. Left atrium, right atrium, left ventricle, right ventricle and this is the septum. Now which are the blood vessels bringing and taking back the blood to the heart? Okay, again one more thing, the heart is covered with a, covered with a double membrane. The heart membrane is called as the pericardial membrane. Pericardial membrane.
membrane. It is a double membrane one. And between the two, a fluid called pericardial fluid. Pericardial fluid. This pericardial membrane and between the two membranes, pericardial fluid, the rib cage, the vertebral column, these are all protecting the heart from the external injuries and shocks. Actually, it is located in the chest region between the two lungs. Then what is that? The rib cage from the side, the vertebral column from the back is protecting the heart from the external injuries and shocks. This is the protection of the internal organs in our body. If you see any vital organ in our body like the lung, heart, brain, kidney, they are all safely located between the bones. Like brain is in the cranium, like that. That is the protection of the heart from the external blows and injuries. Now pericardium is the double membrane. Between this one pericardial space filled with fluid. Pericardial fluid. Follow. And the heart also requires blood, no? The blood vessels which are supplying the blood to the heart are called as the coronary artery, coronary artery and takes back the impure by coronary, coronary vein. Coronary artery and coronary vein bringing blood to heart for the muscles to function. Coronary vein is taking back the impure blood from the heart. These are the blood vessels which are supplying and collecting the blood from the heart. And the muscles are cardiac muscles and the membrane is pericardial membrane. The fluid is pericardial fluid. The technology and the terminology is very very important children. Each and every term please <coughs> remember and read carefully. Now coming to here you see this is the lower inferior vena cava. This is the superior vena cava. Heart, right side full, what is the blood contained? Right side full, the blood is carbon dioxide rich blood. That is the impure blood. Carbon dioxide or you can call it as the deoxygenated blood also. And this deoxygenated blood is collected from all parts of the body and bring it to the heart. And who are collecting? The veins are collecting. We know that all veins carry the impure blood except pulmonary vein. Pulmonary vein. And these veins from the upper parts of the body like neck, shoulders, head, they are connected to form a big vein called superior vena cava. And from the lower parts like legs, abdomen and all the lower parts, the veins collected in a big vein called inferior vena cava. This inferior vena cava and this superior vena cava brings the deoxygenated blood from all parts of the body to right atrium. That is the right auricle also you can say, right atrium also you can say. And from this right atrium, blood flows into right ventricle. Actually, blood once coming inside, it does not go back. That is the flow of the blood has to go here. When this auricle contracts, the blood is going into right ventricle. What type of blood is this? Deoxygenated blood. That means carbon dioxide rich blood means huge blood. And this blood has to be purified. Where does the purification takes place? Normally gases exchange will take place in the lungs. Gases exchange will take place in the lungs. So what happens to the blood when it is moving from the right ventricle? When these ventricles are contracting, the blood moves through the pulmonary artery. Backside you have to understand. Pulmonary artery to where it is going? To lungs. It is going to lungs. You see, right auricle receives carbon dioxide rich blood. And it goes to right ventricle. From right ventricle it moves to lungs through pulmonary artery. One thing children here, when this pulmonary artery sends the blood into pulmonary vein and when this, sorry, pulmonary ventricle, when this ventricle contracts, actually where the blood will go? It has to go back. But here there are some valve like structures, a flap like structures are there, three semi-lunar, semi-lunar things like this. Semi-lunar means like this. Three 
semi lunar wall called as tricuspid wall between where right atrium and right ventricle it does not it will cross when the blood moves down it will cross does not allow it to come back then the blood is moving into pulmonary artery pulmonary artery starts in the it of this right ventricle from right ventricle it is moving to pulmonary artery then this pulmonary artery sends the blood to lungs for what for exchange of gases for exchange of gases now after the exchange of the gases that means carbon dioxide and oxygen exchange mutually then again it is oxygen rich blood oxygen rich blood from this lungs the oxygen rich blood is bringing back see the aroma by pulmonary vein to left atrium pulmonary vein to where left atrium from where it is coming from the lungs it is coming lungs to left atrium is pulmonary vein bringing the pure blood that is the oxygen rich blood or you can call it as pure oxygenated envoy oxygenated blood when this one actually first the auricles will contract the blood moves into ventricles already we discussed that from this left atrium or left auricle the blood moves into left ventricle and once this ventricle contracts then the blood has to move back but it is not going by because there is a bicuspid wall semi lunar to by by means to here try means three right side tricuspid left side bicuspid wall this bicuspid wall will close allows the blood to flow in the left ventricle from this left ventricle the blood is going into see from here going into aorta aorta is the largest artery from where it start from the left ventricle the aorta starts this aorta takes the blood to all part means distribute the blood to all arteries and they are taking the blood to every part of the heart and once when this flow of blood is going the auricles work is just receiving the blood auricles means atria work is just receiving the blood so the atria was actually compared with the ventricles these auricles are smaller in size slightly smaller in size ventricles are slightly larger in size and these atria walls are thinner the work is what only receiving the blood but the ventricles are thicker because their function is to distribute again coming to right ventricle and left ventricle the left ventricle function is more because these walls are very thicker than the right ventricle it has to supply the blood to aorta from there it has to pump to all parts of the body that is the reason why this will be having the thicker walls compared with the atria walls so the four chamber heart how these chambers are located slightly toward the left right side completely deoxygenated blood left side completely oxygenated blood and this oxygenated blood is going pumping back to all body part through the aorta and the different different arteries from the right ventricle the impure blood is pumping to the lungs for the purification who is taking pulmonary artery actually we know that all arteries carry pure blood except pulmonary artery all veins carry impure blood except pulmonary vein because the pulmonary artery is taking the blood to lungs for purification and the pulmonary vein is bringing back the pure blood to left atrium so this is the internal structure and how the blood is moving and again to make it down from the left right ventricle where the blood is going right ventricle where the blood is going to lungs who is taking pulmonary artery then what happens here between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery again there is a wall called as pulmonary wall pulmonary wall this wall does not allow the blood to go back into the right ventricle similarly from left ventricle blood is moving to aorta and here these are the walls called as the aortic wall 
aortic wall does not allow the blood to come back into the left ventricle. So like that, we observe the four valves in the heart. What are the four valves? Now, I will give you one mnemonic children. Tissue paper, tissue paper, my asset, my asset. This one, you see, how you are able to understand? Tissue, tricuspid. And if you see, the bicuspid wall, another name is called as the mitral, mitral wall. Tissue, here, P for pulmonary. P for what? Pulmonary. Then my for mitral. And A for IOT. So like that, you can remember the walls in the heart. Tricuspid wall, pulmonary on right side. Mitral and aortic walls on left side. These are the four. And actually you will get that which one is the right side, which one is the left side, you may get confusion. For that also you will give up me money. What is that? The small children, what they will do? They will first try the tricycle. The right thing is tricycle, then the bicycle. Right thing means first right side, tricycle, tricuspid wall, you should remember. Then they will go for the bicycle, bicuspid wall. So like that also, you will avoid the confusion, which are the right side, which are the left side. And these walls prevent the backward flow of the blood. What is the main function of the walls? The walls prevent the backward flow of the blood. Means atrium to ventricle, but ventricle to atrium it should not go. And from ventricle to pulmonary artery, but again it is not going back. So that is the reason why the walls are present in the heart to prevent the backward flow of the blood.